So here I am, Nova Southeastern University. Yeah, we are in the Department of Health and Human Performance. Within the department, we actually are a separate program. We're the Exercise and Sports Science Program. I always say, if you get untrained people, you could get them to do anything and they're going to improve. But if you're going to do comparison of traditional heavy resistance training with weights versus, let's say, bands, your muscles, in, a, in essence, don't care what kind of tension is put on them, whether you're pulling on a band or pushing a car or lifting a weight. Your muscle senses it as tension, and tension in general produces growth. And in fact, if even if you look at some uh, some endurance athletes like uh, rowers, swimmers, even cyclists, if you look at their legs, the kind of tension they apply is, in, is not weight training, is not similar to weight training, but it's enough tension that they get some hypertrophy or some growth. Um, so... And in fact, you'll, you'll enjoy this. There's some newer research showing that doing, doing very heavy weights, uh, low volume versus high volume lower weights produce similar hypertrophy. So at least in terms of hypertrophy, your body has multiple ways of responding or there's multiple stimuli that can produce a similar response. Whereas if you're training for strength, you got to lift heavy weights. So it's kind of interesting. Train for strength, you got to lift heavy. Training for muscle hypertrophy, it's sort of like, eh, you have multiple ways of getting to the same place. And that could include band training. It can include using chains or whatever. Um, and it is absolutely true that, you know, as, as sports scientists, you know, it's almost more interesting to talk to what strength coaches do because – Really, what you have to do is marry what they do in the gym or on the field to what you find in the lab, because that's how that that's how you find what would be the ideal solution for whatever problems you have as a coach or as, a, or as an athlete. Yeah, and, and interestingly, the data actually supports that. <laughs> and, and and these studies have only been done, you know, relatively recently, where they've where they've compared different different uh, uh, rep ranges to see what would produce hypertrophy.